Hello, I'm back with another coach bag review. Uh, this time it's going to be a bit of an unboxing, and this is probably going to be a really fun video to watch from a technical standpoint because, again, as I've mentioned in a past video, I've got really weird lighting in my house. I live in an interior row home, so I only have windows facing north-south, and it can be very tricky trying to get some decent lighting in here. And today I'm posting up on the third floor in my library because this is the room that has the most natural light. But of course, uh, because of the sun coming in, I can't see my screen at all. So I'm kind of flying blind on this one. So hopefully I'll get the bags in view uh, so that you can see what I'm talking about. But this could be interesting. Uh, today's review also includes a little bit of an unboxing. Uh, this is I'm going to be talking about the Coach Rogue bags today. And the unboxing is actually for a bag that I bought in January, beginning of January. Uh, it's my first Rogue. I'm in love with it. I've been using it very heavily for the past month and a half, almost two months now. And I went back to the Coach store this past weekend because I needed some Coach therapy. Things have been pretty tough uh, with health issues and work's been crazy, so I decided to treat myself as a... Yay, congrats, you survived the past month so far. And I picked up a second Rogue. I wasn't planning on buying another bag. I just wanted to go and chat with the fantastic sales associates there because uh, they're really fun to talk to. It's really fun to go and just look at the bag, see what's new. But uh, my lovely sales associate, Allison, actually brought out a bag that technically wasn't uh, for sale yet. It's not coming out on the floor until uh, March something or other. But she brought it out for me because she knows my likes, she knows my tastes, and I grabbed it immediately because it's actually a bag I'd wanted before, but the color had been discontinued for a little while. So I'll get to that, though. But after buying the new Rogue, I moved into it right away, and Allison did a cleaning and moisturizing and polishing of my first Rogue, and she boxed it back up for me. So... I get to do an unboxing for you so you can see how the bags are packaged, you can see the quality and the care that is consistent with, with Coach from start to finish, from the time you walk in that boutique, that went, walk into that store, greeted by fantastic, wonderful, friendly sales associates, the care, the, the complimentary cleaning and things they do, and the really lovely packaging that they will give you with your bags. So I'll do an unboxing of a bag I've been using for almost two months now. And then I'll show you the one that I just had to grab, even though I wasn't planning on buying anything. But I will tell you the coach therapy worked, and I left the store feeling much happier and <laughs> much better spirits than I had been for a little while now. So without further ado, show you the old Rogue that is packaged as new. So of course, you get the lovely, lovely sturdy bags that have the really neat fabric uh, handles and I geeked out in the store of course and told Allison oh yes I even love the bags because the handles are so soft and lovely to carry because when I fangirl I fangirl hard about every detail so it comes in the nice coach bag with the lovely fabric handles and let's see if I can pull this out without too much ado it's kind of a tight fit in the bag now um, but they do get boxed in a really nice sturdy coach box with a beautiful ribbon that is tied on so lovely like and this is actually a nicer box than the ones that came with uh, my other bags this one is the kind that has the little bit of a magnetic flap but yes so and I'm not even gonna try to take the ribbon off without undoing the bow because I am not that skilled so take the bow off and again it's got that lovely magnetic flap closure and it's packaged all nice and new in a in the tissue paper with the sticker. It's just very it's just a nice experience. It's so silly to be excited about stuff like this, but it really makes you feel like you've got something special. And honestly, with these bags you do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought a second one. Uh, I've never bought two of the same kind of bag before. Heck, I've never even had two bags at a time period. I've always done just one bag, schlep that around until it falls apart, and then you're done. But with these new coach bags, I again, I've been so excited about them. They're so fun to carry. And I've been a dork and enjoy switching out my bags throughout the week, depending on my mood, depending on the weather. 
I like my drifter and my swagger for work because they're really professional looking. They're very chic, structured satchel bags. And then the rogue I really enjoy for weekends and running around. And I bring them to work sometimes too when I just feel like carrying them because they're really, really fun to carry and I love them. But enough about that. You want to see the bags. So yes, you've got the lovely tissue paper with the little coach sticker. If you can see that, I'm not, again, I'm not sure what the lighting, I'm just kind of winging it right now. My apologies. Ah, I might peel the sticker off without ripping the tissue paper. And of course, the leather bags all come with the nice dust bags, nice dust cover to protect your bags and keep them safe from dirt and uh, whatever when you've got them in storage when you're not using them. Also good protection from the cats. You can probably hear my two cats whining. Yeah, and there's one of them right there. Uh, they've been kind of fighty this afternoon. So open the dust bag and there's the bag. My first one, as you can see, is the black rogue. It's the medium size with the black copper hardware and the orangey, like kind of a goldenrod suede interior on the pockets there, on the outside pockets. The funny thing with this bag, when I first started um, looking at coach stuff and going to the stores, the sales reps were always showing me the rogue, because this is kind of the it bag, this is kind of their flagship bag right now uh, from the 1941 line. and. I kept saying no, partly because they're expensive, partly because it's just a little bigger and chunkier, has a little more vintage, uh, like 70s styling to it. Uh, that wasn't really my jam. Again, I, I the Drifter is my favorite one, that industrial plague doctor urn bag that I always refer to it as. Uh, that's a little more my speed, but somehow, I don't I don't know what it is, but one day I, I went in and I just, I'm like, you know what? I, I keep thinking about the Rogue. I really want to try one out. And of course I tend to go for black. Again, funeral, do funeral director, goth, uh, most of my clothes are black, so it's really easy to match those up. Um, but I wasn't crazy initially about the orangey lining, because it's just not, I don't know, it's bright color. I'm not really big on oranges. Until I, I the, this one day when I walked in the store and I looked at it and I realized, oh my god, this bag is the color of a Ouija board. Um, I don't think I have my, oh, I do have my phone up here now. Uh, most of my accessories are Ouija board based. Card cases, wallets, phone cover. Um, I just love Ouija boards. There's something about the design that just geeks me out, makes me really, really happy to see it. And also, of course, again, as a funeral director, this is the best way to check my references. You want to know if I'm doing a good job uh, with the care of the deceased? Got to break out one of these to find out some actual first-hand feedback. So when I realized this is a Ouija-colored bag, I had to have it. And I am obsessed with this bag. I really, really love it. It's so sturdy. It's a really good workhorse bag. I've been, again, I've been carrying this around for almost two months. Throw it in my car, schlep it around, stuff it in my desk drawer at work. And it's immaculate. It's, it doesn't even look like it's been used. And when Allison was cleaning it at the store, nothing, there wasn't even any dirt on it. I don't know what it is about this pebbled leather, but it's just phenomenal. Um, when she was cleaning it, again, the cloth was pristine, after, even after the first wipe down, which I remarked was amazing considering where this bag has been, the weather I've been carrying it in, and everything. And it just is just so, 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 so gorgeous. The suede is in immaculate condition as well. She didn't do anything with the suede. Uh, there was really no need to anyway. And again, I've been out in the rain with this bag, in the snow, uh, splashing, uh, you know, all kinds of crazy things. And the suede is just beautiful. It's always dried down perfectly, uh, which gives me a little more hope than for my drifter bag. So I'm kind of afraid to carry that one on the testier weather days because of the suede panels on the side. But... Again, this just speaks to the quality of the materials that Coach is using for their bags. Um, I did also send in the hang tag. Allison helped me out to send the hang tag for monogramming. And I got the little skull monogram in a color that matches 
the lining and the stitching to keep the Ouija board theme going strong. Uh, the road bags also come with a little like clochette type thing, a uh, key holder. The original first generation of Rogues came with a little padlock so that you could lock uh, the zippers on the inner compartment. And the little key holder here actually had a key that could be used on the lock. But the second generation Rogues uh, and the ones to follow don't have that lock and key anymore. Um, I know that's, that's a feature that was really important to the first, you know, round where people really loved the lock and key and they were really upset when it was removed from the following generations. But I actually just, I love it as it is. I just think there's enough detail and styling to this bag on its own that you're really not missing anything by not having the little lock hanging on the side. Um, this bag is pebble leather on the outside with smooth gloved hand leather on the zipper tabs, the zipper pull in the middle, and the handles and the shoulder straps. The interior is lined with suede. Again, uh, the two outside pocket, the interior is lined with suede. And the main compartment, the middle compartment, is lined with a uh, really nice smooth grain canvas. It's really hardy. It's really, a, this is a workhorse bag, absolutely, without a doubt. It's got the kiss lock pocket on the back here. That's, uh, again, to people who are obsessed with Coach, this is a throwback to uh, one of their best designers, Bonnie Cashin. She introduced the kiss lock feature to a lot of Coach bags in the early 70s, so that's kind of a nice little throwback to the history of Coach. And then on the other side, you've got the Creed patch and a zipper compartment. And then the rest of it is just one big open compartment, again, lined in a really hardy, strong canvas. And then the bottom has the metal feet so that when you set the bag down, you're protecting the bottom from whatever surface you're setting it on. And those feet are on little leather reinforcement pads. So again, this bag is made to last. This is this is one of those that you can probably you know beat somebody up with it multiple times and it's not even going to show a scratch. This is just a wonderful, wonderful bag. Um, I've also embellished it with a few other things in addition to the little skull hang tag. I actually got one of those coach bracelets that has the little Rexy, the little gunmetal Rexy. If you recall from my drifter video, I have the Rexy metal uh, key fob hanging off of that. I love, love, love my dinosaur skeletons because I've never, I, mentally I haven't really progressed past the age of five. So I love my dinosaur skeletons. And of course, I have another little skull on here. The silver skull that has a little crystal eyes, just for a little extra pop and personalization there. And I also have, I, <laughs> when I was cleaning my house, I found this charm that I bought years ago and was, I guess, just lost and hidden in the nonsense of my house. This is from Black Phoenix Trade, Black Phoenix Alchemy Trading Post. Uh, it's kind of the side shoot off project at Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab, which is a company that makes amazing, gorgeous, very unique uh, perfume oils. And I've been a big fan of theirs for close to 20 years now. And um, they open up that little side store, the trading post, to do things like jewelry and clothing and mem like you know, paraphernalia and stuff that have a lot of their logos and symbols and keeps with the themes, a lot of literary themes, a lot of gothy themes. And they're really fun company. Um, again, amazing perfumes. And this is a little resin alchemy skull pendant that I had bought them from them a long time ago. And look how perfect the color is with this bag. It looks like it was it came with the bag actually. It's uh again Ouija board colored, which is probably why I got it, because again, I'm obsessed with all things Ouija. Even though the funny thing is I won't actually use the Ouija board. I joke about using it to check my references for work, but uh <laughs> I won't actually use one. I just like them for decoration. But it's a really perfect match. Uh, and the bag can be carried multiple ways. I tend to carry it by the handles because I really like the way the shoulder straps look hanging down. And it fits, you know, it fits really nice on the arm. I've kind of become one of those girly girls who walks around like this with their purse um, instead of schlupping over my shoulder like I used to. 
But it is great. It's very comfortable to carry on the shoulders, too, when you need to, when your hands are full. It looks really great as a shoulder bag as well. I tend to carry it when I wear it as a shoulder bag. I tend to just fold the handles in on the top. But they are actually designed to just slip right inside the suede pockets and lay flat. So it doesn't even look like there's handles on there. That's, this is just a really, really well-designed bag. It's very, very versatile. And it can be worn as a crossbody. All of the shoulder straps are connected by uh, the dog leash clips. So you can unclip them and then clip them together like this to make it a crossbody bag. Now, I haven't worn it crossbody. Uh, again, I, I tend to wear either shoulder or carry like a satchel. But again, versatile bag. You have the option if that's how you prefer to carry your bags. So yes, love the Rogue. It's amazing. It's very kind of rockerish. I kind of feel like a rock star when I'm walking around with this thing. Uh, and not just because of the skulls and the dinosaur. It's just it's just a really great bag, really solid. Uh, the chunky features that had first turned me off have really grown on me, and I just really, really adore this bag. So much so that I bought a second one. And the second one I'm really excited to have grabbed because I didn't get into Coach until this past December. So I missed the first round of Rogues. I missed the second round of Rogues. Uh, so by the time I finally uh, decided I was going to take the plunge and get a rogue. The color, I mean, the, all the colors are great, but I tend to prefer the black copper hardware. I don't like the brass. So that kind of nixed the really gorgeous denim blue bag for me. Uh, the chalk bag is really cool. I, I tend to stick, stay away from the light colors, but the chalk with the contrasting oxblood handles was gorgeous. And there's a really sharp red one out there that still kind of stole my heart a little bit. It's got the black copper hardware. But those and the black bag were really the only options available to me by the time I decided to get a Rogue. And I've been kind of keeping my eye open because I know from my internet stalking and reading up on Coach products that one of the early versions of the Rogue that came out in 2016 was an olive colored bag that had black handles, the black key fob, the black um, hang tag, and shoulder straps. And I fell in love with that bag. I was kind of sort of obsessed with that bag because, again, I don't wear a lot of color in my wardrobe, but being an army brat, olive green, olive drab is one of the colors that's close to my heart. I don't know why I'm so drawn to it. It is the color of my Swagger 27 bag, and I love it. It's gorgeous. It's neutral enough that it goes with everything, no matter what color you're wearing, really. And, again, I only really wear black, but it's a nice little pop. And I saw that for, you know, spring, summer 2017, Rogue was bringing, or Coach was bringing back the Olive Rogue. So I was really excited. But then when I looked at the pictures online, it was all Olive. It was Olive handles, Olive key fob, Olive shoulder straps. It was just solid Olive, which is still pretty, but it bummed me out because I really liked the black contrast. It just added a little something extra, made it a little sharper, a little edgier. So when I stopped at the coach store uh, last week or this past weekend and I was talking with Allison and just kind of decompressing from the last couple weeks, she actually brought out a couple bags from the back that, again, aren't scheduled to be for sale on the floor yet until March, but she wanted to show them to me anyway. And she happened to bring out the new olive bag and to my delight and amazement, it's the olive bag with the black handles and the black accent pieces. So, of course, I grabbed it immediately and was just walking around the, the store hugging it because I am a dork. And I was so excited and so shocked that the pictures online had been wrong and that the new version of the olive bag is like the old one with the contrasting features. And this one has navy blue suede lining on the outside pockets which is just a really gorgeous, gorgeous contrasting color. It just works so well together. And I love the way the hang tag and the key fob clochette thingy pop out against the olive of the bag, the way the handles stand out. So I'm really excited to use this bag. 
Um, again, I've never bought two of the same bag before. I've never had more than one bag that I was using really at a time. But I just couldn't resist this. And yes, they are pricey, but they are well worth every cent. Because uh, again, the quality, the stitching is amazing. I was dorking out about the stitching on this because you can see it's got the black uh, zipper pull, zip, zipper panel thing. And it's got a nice olive drab thread stitching on that as well with the black gunmetal hardware. And it's just really a beautiful bag. They're really, really soft. Uh, the nice thing is they do develop a bit of a slouch over time. You can see this is a brand new, unused one so far. And then this one I've been using for two months. And you can see the corners are kind of slouching a little bit on this one. And when you wear it, it just kind of folds in around your body. And it's just, the leather is amazing. It's really, really thick, really, really heavy duty. Uh, the handles are smooth, glove tan leather, so they're really comfortable to carry. And the stitching is just amazing. The hardware is gorgeous, very sturdy. And I'm really looking forward to using these bags for many, 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 many years to come. So, oh, and one thing, people do um, have concerns about the weight of the Rogue bags. They are pretty heavy. Uh, they're not as heavy as the first generation. The first generation ones, I believe, weighed in at about three pounds empty. Um, the new ones, the ones that are currently out for sale, are maybe two and a half pounds empty, so, so they, they shaved off a little bit of weight there. But I don't mind the weight. I do carry a lot of nonsense with me, journals, uh, makeup pouches. Oh, I'm excited because I have the Rexy wristlet pouch thing. I use this as my makeup bag, and I think it looks really cute. Again, I can't see anything because of the light. Um, this video just might be a lot of audio of me talking about how awesome the bags are, but you won't be able to see a thing. But they uh, are just wonderful bags. The weight doesn't bother me. Again, um, with my, jo my job is very physical. I'm used to carrying a lot of very heavy weight around. So the weight on these doesn't bother me. Uh, maybe... Uh, I would estimate that my bag loaded with all the junk and nonsense, books makeup, pain pills, all kinds of things, maybe come in at just over three pounds. But when you wear it on your shoulder, it actually doesn't, you don't feel the weight as much. It's just, uh, it kind of distributes the weight a little more. And it hangs so nicely from your shoulder, as you can see. It's just a very versatile bag, very well made, lovely, very fun designs. And I'm really excited about having one that has the contrasting handles and features. So that's it for today. Uh, again, I hope uh, you enjoy these videos. I hope that I'm enabling you to take the splurge and treat yourself to some amazing bags that are really going to let you have some fun, feel confident, and, and just feel like a rock star when you're walking around with them. Um, if you like these videos, hit subscribe. I don't really have a schedule. Obviously, I don't have a schedule for when I post videos. It's kind of a matter of when I have the time uh, between work and personal things. Uh, my schedule is just very inconsistent and, and very hard to predict. But if you like my videos, do hit subscribe so that way you'll know when I do manage to get a new one up. And comment. Let me know uh, what you think about these bags. And I hope that you all have a fantastic time, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.